Okay, so let's have this topic. So transformation by trigonometric formulas. So we have this given the integral of sine x times cosine x dx. So to find the integral, so first we need to work on a positive add exponent. Then extract one function and use these identities. So for this given, so again, we need to work on a positive add exponent since on this given, sine x has a positive add exponent, so we need to work on sine x. So this becomes the integral, so just bring down this cosine to the power 4x. Then we need to extract one function from this sine to the power 3x. So this becomes sine to the power 2, then x. Because we extract one function, that's sine x, then the dx. Then continue working on sine x using these identities. Since sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta, so therefore, the sine squared x, so we have the integral of cosine to the power 4x, then times the identity of the sine squared x, this identity, so that's 1, then minus cosine to the power 2, then x, then bring down the sine x dx. Then simplify, so we have this the integral, so distribute this cosine to the power 4x times 1, so that's cosine to the power 4x, then this cosine to the power 4x times negative cosine to the power 2x, so we have negative, then cosine, then just add this exponent, so 4 plus 2, so that's to the power 6, then x, then times this, sine x, then the dx. Then this time, we can integrate now every term and distribute the sine x dx to every term. So we have now the integral of cosine to the power 4x, then this sine x dx. Then to this term, so we have this negative, so minus, then the integral of cosine to the power 6x, then this, sine x, then the dx. Then using the u du, so we let u equals to this cosine x, then du, that's the derivative of cosine x. Then since the derivative of cosine u is negative sine u, then the du. So therefore, the derivative of cosine x, that's negative sine x, then the dx. But since sine x dx is positive, so we need to divide both sides by negative 1. So therefore, this negative du is equal to positive sine x, then the dx. Then using substitution, so we have now the integral of cosine to the power 4x. Since cosine x is equal to u, so therefore this cosine to the power 4x becomes u to the power 4. And this sine x dx, so this sine x dx, that's negative du. Then minus, so the integral of this cosine to the power 6x, that's u to the power 6. Then this sine x dx, so we have negative du. Then put this negative outside. So this becomes negative, then the integral of u to the power 4, then the du, and this negative times negative, that's positive, 
then the integral of u to the power 6, then the du, then using the power rule of integral, that the integral of u to the power n is equal to u, n plus 1 over n plus 1. So therefore, we have this negative, so u to the power 4 plus 1 for the exponent, so this becomes u to the power 5, then over 5. Then plus u to the power 6, so plus 1 for the exponent, that's u to the power 7, then over 7, then plus c. E. Then substitute now the value of u, since u is equal to cosine x, so this becomes negative, then cosine to the power 5x over 5, then plus cosine to the power 7x over 7, then plus c. So this is now the integral of the given trigonometric equation. Then for this given, so again work on the positive add exponent since on this given, both functions has a positive add exponent. So therefore on this case, we need to work on the smaller positive add exponent. So therefore we need to work on cosine 3x. So just bring down the sine to the power 5 3x then we need to extract 1 from cosine to the power 3 3x so this becomes cosine to the power 2 3x and cosine 3x then the dx then continue working on cosine to the power 2 3x so using this identity that cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So we have now the integral of sine to the power 5 3x, then this cosine to the power 2 3x. So using this identity, that's 1, then minus sine to the power 2 3x, then bring down this cosine 3x, then the dx, then distribute this sine to the power 5 3x so we have the integral of sine to the power 5 3x then to this uh, term so that's negative then sine so add the exponent so 5 plus 2 that's to the power 7 then the 3x then times this cosine 3x then the dx then this time we can integrate now every term and distribute this cosine 3x dx. So we have the integral of sine to the power 5 3x then times this cosine 3x then the dx then to this term. So we have minus then the integral of sine to the power 7 3x then times this cosine 3x then the dx then using the u du so we let u equals to sine 3x and du that's the derivative of sine since the derivative of sine is positive cosine u du so therefore the derivative of sine 3x that's positive cosine 3x then times the derivative of u or the derivative of 3x that's 3 then the dx since we only have this cosine 3x dx so therefore we need to divide every term by 3 so cancel this 3 so therefore du is equal to cosine 3x then the dx 
So this time, using the substitution, so from this uh, equation, we have the integral of sine to the power 5, 3x, since sine 3x is equal to u, so we have now the integral of u to the power 5, then this cosine 3x dx, so cosine 3x dx, this one is du over 3, so we have now times du over 3. Then minus, so minus the integral of sine to the power 7, so this one is u to the power 7, then times, and du over 3. Then we need to put this denominator 3 outside, so this becomes 1 over 3, then the integral of u to the power 5, then the du, then minus, since this denominator 3, that's 1 over 3, then the integral of u to the power 7, then the du. Then using the power rule of integral, so we have 1 over 3, then times, so plus 1 for the exponent, that's u to the power 6 over 6. Then minus this 1 over 3, then times, plus 1 for the exponent, that u to the power 8 over 8, then plus c. Then substitute the value of u, since u is equal to sine 3x, so therefore this becomes sine to the power 6, then 3x, then over this 3 times 6, that's 18. Then minus sine to the power 8, then 3x, then over this 3 times 8, that's 24, then plus C. So this is now the integral of this trigonometric equation.